on the next page you will be asked to create your first, very first ad. We will leave text ad checked because we will be running text ads and our first order of business is to create a headline. There are character uh, restrictions on the number of characters that you can use in these ads are restricted and the number for the headline is 25 characters it is because uh, it will be bolded and it will take up more space on uh, the descriptions line 1 and 2 you will be able to use 35 characters let's fill out the headline first in the example in the ebook we're working with uh, the topic of vintage car parts so let's just go with a headline that matches that vintage car parts and uh, this gray bar here shows you that you're well within the character limits uh, for this particular line in the ad. Now something to keep in mind is that if you were running an actual ad you would want to be as descriptive and as useful as relevant to the particular search for that keyword that will be we will be associating with this uh, ad in just a minute as you can possibly be. The catch here is though when you're doing this for the sole purpose of keyword research uh, there's a balancing act that you keep, need to keep in mind. If you make your uh, ad way too appetizing people will click on it and will actually cost you money and that is not your goal. Uh, AdWords will collect impressions data on the ad as people type in the applicable uh, or the associated, uh, I should say, the associated keywords with this ad and it will keep track of the data and that's the data we're interested in. So um, you need to be careful with this. Next, let's fill out our first line of description. If we were running actual ads for the purposes of driving traffic and perhaps making some sales in Google AdWords, I would recommend that you use the following formula. For the first line of the description, uh, you should always use to describe a benefit to, um, to the prospective buyer. And on the second line, you want to use a feature. This always, almost always works best this is a really good formula but for now we just want an ad up there to collect information on uh, how many people actually type in the keywords associated with the uh, AdWord um, uh, group so um, our first line I'm gonna copy and paste it in here and this is the example that we use in the ebook and the second line is is the remainder of our, our example again from the ebook there are a couple of things to keep in mind when, when it comes to the display URL. There's a character limit here as well. But also, the domain name that you will be displaying here has to be an actual domain name. So you will be needing to register a domain name and set up a website for it. Uh, we'll be showing that uh, you that in a later video but at the same time um, the uh, actual page that you will be displaying here does, need, does not need to match the page the user will be landing on if they ever click on the ad so you can use this to further your message and make a big uh, even bigger and better impression with the, uh, uh, the your visitor this is if you were running a, uh, an actual ad to drive uh, traffic and uh, perhaps make some sales. The destination URL will have to be uh, a ver an existing URL that Google can ping and verify the, uh, that it does exist. The final part when it comes to setting up your first uh, AdWords um, ad group is to plug in the keywords you want to associate with uh, with the ad. Again, following our example in the ebook, 
we're going to use vintage car parts uh, related keywords. Here what you need to keep in mind is again we're doing keyword research here so we're going to place these keywords into in, in, uh, inside square brackets. What this will tell Google is to only show these um, uh, the ad when these keywords are typed in exactly the way they are shown here. So both in terms of the actual words and their order. There are two other what they call match types uh, in AdWords that you could use to get more traffic, uh, a little bit less targeted, but you get more traffic and pick up sales uh, that way. But again, we are not running these ads to um, to get actual customers. We are doing this to do keyword research. If you like, you could click on estimate search traffic. Again, t take these estimates with a grain of salt. They will be inaccurate. In some cases, they will be grossly inaccurate. The next step is to save and continue to billing. Um, th since this is your first, very first campaign and um, ad group, uh, you don't have any credit card information uh, plugged into the system yet. Uh, it will not start running your ads unless you have a valid, car valid credit card associated with the account. Um, so it's giving you the option to do that now or set up billing later. Let's continue on to, might as well get it out of the way, save and continue to billing. On the next screen you will be asked, you will be asked for uh, the country that you are living in. And let's just skip down to the good old United States here, if that's your country, and click continue. In the process of setting up your billing profile, uh, you will be asked a number of questions. If you have a business name that you want to use, you can enter it here, but it is optional. Most likely, uh, you won't have one of these just yet. Uh, type in your name and your billing, um, your billing address, really, your street address. Let's fill in the city and state. and the zip code and the phone number and click continue. When it comes to your options on how to pay, automatic payments um, is selected and I recommend that you go um, with that as opposed to manual payments simply because there is really no risk in it. Uh, you're already setting your daily spend uh, uh, to cap it uh, in a way so you can be taken to the cleaners um, so there is no need for extra caution here and it's very con convenient so whenever uh, you spend some money you won't have to um, think about refunding your account. In terms of the actual payment options, you can use a bank account or a credit card. I do have accounts that use um, uh, the bank account option. Also, I also got one that uses the credit card option. It really doesn't make any difference. Um, so I guess uh, you could go with the credit card option here. And here, this is just a simple matter of filling out your credit card number and all the other things, such as the verif verification number and the name on the card, and also your billing address if it's different from the uh, your street address that you entered before. And this should be it. Uh, once you have this filled out, you just click Continue, and your account should be set up. Thank you for watching.